The New York Giants get much-needed help at middle linebacker, signing former Green Bay Packer tackle machine Blake Martinez to a three-year, $30 million contract, which seems to be trending around the NFL, three years, $30 million. Seems to be the most common contract that's been given out this free agency. It's just about the same terms as Jamie Collins to the Lions. When I look at this move, it's okay. Uh, I don't hate it. I don't love it either. I think Martinez is a solid linebacker. I don't think you would put him in the good territory. I do feel like this is a little overpaying. I think Martinez's re reputation around the NFL for NFL fans is a little bit overrated. I do feel like he's a good tackling machine type of linebacker. And when you look at his tackle numbers, you know, 144, 144, 155, they're certainly there. And he is a workhorse. He plays a lot of snaps. He plays every down. He plays first, second, third down. He plays the most snaps in the league, like in the top five at linebacker regularly. So the reliability is there at linebacker for the Giants. And the tackling ability, sideline to sideline ability in the run game is there. But there's two areas where I say Martinez is not quite up to par which you would want from your middle linebacker. And that is getting through blocks in the run game and being able to shed blocks in the run game and make plays when he really needs to. He's better in space. If you give him space in the run game and he's able to, at that second level, make the tackle, he's going to make the tackle every time. Like this year, he had the third most snaps at linebacker this year, according to PFF. PFF ranked him as the 52nd best linebacker in the league, and they're coming from where I'm coming from as well. So this backs me up. He is not very good as a run defender in terms of taking on blockers, and his pass coverage skills could be better. Where he actually is surprisingly good is in his pass rush, and as a blitzer, he is pretty good as well. Um, and he has succeeded at times, putting up some sack numbers with three sacks this year and five sacks last year. As a middle linebacker, inside linebacker, that is very good. Now, for the Giants, he's basically going to be playing in a very similar type of defense that he did play in Green Bay. When I do think about the New England type of defense, which is going to be played in the Giants system, I do wonder whether that is the right guy. You know, I would have preferred them go after a Jamie Collins or somebody of that stature, maybe a little bit better coverage skills, man-to-man -man skills than Martinez. But Martinez certainly has the ability to track down people in the open field from a tackling perspective. So there's pros and cons to this. I think this does help the Giants' middle of their defense, and you get a veteran player who's only 26, and it's three years. It's not a terrible contract, but I don't think it's a good contract either. More of the I don't like it on the spectrum to the I like it on the spectrum, but I could see why some people may like it more than others. So overall... Giants, they continue to upgrade their defense, getting, getting James Bradbury earlier in the day. Now they upgrade the second level. We'll see if they upgrade the edge or the defensive line tomorrow or in the coming days of free agency. Martinez is another added veteran piece that is known around the NFL for his great tackling ability, and we'll see him bring that and his reliability to the New York Giants. Martinez isn't the only Green Bay Packer that the New York Giants have signed. They have also signed edge player Kyler Fackrell, who just last season in 2018 had 10 plus sacks. This could be another Marcus Golden situation with finding an edge player that was really good maybe a season or two ago and implementing them into a similar system in New York. An edge player that I feel like fits the mold of that patriot style defense of an edge player slash linebacker that the giants have really been looking for he can blitz well he's a smart player and really the reason why his production fell off in 2019 is because he didn't play as much his snaps went down significantly with zadarius smith and preston smith coming into the fold for the green bay packers he played more as the third player in the rotation for the packers 
He only played about 467 snaps compared to over 965 for Preston and Zadarius Smith. So for the Giants, this is a player that one year, $4.6 million, kind of, I feel like for Kyler, a prove-it deal in 2020 to prove that he is more of the 10 and a half sack kind of guy that we saw in 2018 than he is the 2019 guy who was playing as the third role, right? So Fackrell is going to bring a pass rusher. He's going to bring versatility to the front seven and a player that maybe is a diamond in the rough, six foot five, 245 pounds. He has played all 16 games, three years in a row, totaling 10 and a half sacks in 2018. He just had one last year, but he did have 10 quarterback hits. And I do believe that this is a player that would be on the underrated radar of all free agents to get him for one year, only a $4 million cap hit. That's a pretty good deal. You don't get pass rushers like him very often at that type of money. And I feel like the production went down more so because of the playing time than anything else. So he's a good scheme fit. He's going to add to the rotation of edge producers really for the New York Giants in 2020 and another solid signing for the Green Bay Packers. I prefer this one over the Blake Martinez signing. Blake Martinez is going to play more inside linebacker for this defense, probably a three down linebacker while Kyler Fackrell is a rotationary guy but more of the third down pass rushing variety who can also mix it up as a blitzer and do all the type of stunts that they want within this defense and within this scheme. So Fackrell goes to the Giants as well, joining his teammate Blake Martinez in the Big Apple. Let me know what you think of both of these moves, Martinez and Fackrell to the Giants. Thanks guys for watching. It's been Mitch. Peace out.